Hello and welcome to another webisode of my story where I tell my life story in 15 minute increments one webisode at a time. So in this webisode I am telling about how I'm an adult. I had just graduated college. I've gotten married. I have three kids, three daughters, and I am just navigating the adult world, doing the best that I can. I have just finished college and um, I got an internship. At, um, it, it's not really related to my degree, but I was so grateful to get this internship at a nonprofit that works to help women recover from domestic violence. And um, I was just, I, I was so alive. I loved working there. I just, I don't know how I can even describe it. It lit up my heart. It made me so happy to work there. I worked with women. I helped women that were in really, really low situations. I helped them. And um, it was just, it was so fulfilling. It was so fulfilling. I just, I loved that job so much. But in the meantime, I was battling a court battle. I had battled a court battle with my lawyer or with my landlord, my previous landlord, but now my husband and I were buying a home. And so that was really exciting. And I was also going to court with my first two daughters father he was taking me to court for custody which you know he wasn't going to get that but um basically he had had the court move to his state and um that was really it was a bad blow for me but i looked around and i found a lawyer and we started working his lawyer and my lawyer would talk and basically his lawyer and my lawyer decided that it would be best if we didn't go to court at all. If we just came up with a draft that he can agree on and I can agree on and um, we sign it and then the lawyers present it to a judge and have it signed and then we have the papers. Um, they both agreed that I would retain custody that what we're drafting up here is visitation agreements. Zach was a little bit upset with that at first, which I was fine with. I was like, if y'all want, we can go. You know, I, I wanted to stretch it out as long as possible. Whenever I was first served with papers, my daughters, hit, hit, my daughters with Zach, were three and one. I don't know why, but... I just, I did not feel that Zach was very responsible and needed to have a small child. I, I was, I was very much a natural with small children, but also very scared that I wouldn't do well with small children. So I was always reading child psychology books. I read what to expect when you're expecting, what to expect with a toddler, what to expect with a newborn. I read all of those books. I read every single child psychology book I can get my hand on. And I would study um, different parenting techniques and stuff. I would go online and study uh, child psychology and parenting. And I just, I didn't, I did not feel like Zach would be able to take care of them. They needed to be older. They just, they needed to be older. And I didn't want to keep them from him, but I wanted them to be older. I don't know why I had that feeling, but I did. And so with the courts, um, they would present this um, visitation arrangement. And I was just like, I don't know how, the, you know, because we're in two different states. So the visitation arrangement is like a month here and a month there until they start school. And then he gets, um, he, every other holiday, I don't know, it was, it was, I was like, I just, I don't, I don't think that it's a good idea that, you know, these girls, they don't even really know him and he's going to be in another state with them and just dropping them off at a house they don't even know. Shouldn't there be like a period of getting to know them time first? And so that was the first request that I had. And that, that one made sense to everybody. They were like, yeah, that makes sense. There should be a get to know. By this time, they're four and two. 
And so, yeah, there should be a get to know them time. So we wrote that in there about how for the first three months, he would come to visit them every other weekend in order to develop a relationship with them. And then they would start going every, they would go a month at his house and then a month at my house in different states until school starts and then they would stay with me during school and whenever there was any time off they would go with him he would get spring breaks christmas breaks stuff like that and um i didn't like that of course you know I, everything i i tried to find something to send it back to renegotiate right and um so i wanted to renegotiate that i felt like i should be able to get some spring breaks and stuff and so they they did they agreed to that and it became every other holiday plus he gets um any three-day weekend or four-day weekend and they get to go stay with him in the different state so that's that was what they came back with for that and then um I wanted visitation within my visitation we, we went back with that and then um I, I just, I kept wanting things to be revised, and my lawyer finally was like, are you ever going to be happy? Because we revised this down to almost a perfect agreement, and you still want things to be done. I mean, are you trying to, you know, what are you trying to do here? And I was like, okay, um, we've got to sign these agreements. And about that time, the time that we were signing the agreement was um, right before Dave was going to war. He was about to go to his second tour, so I was about to go say goodbye to Dave. And then the next weekend was the first weekend where Zach would come and pick up the girls. And so, of course, because the way that I had it written out, he had to come to this state and see them for a couple months before, you know, and develop a relationship. And um, so that was really difficult for me. The timing I was like, really? I mean, I really wish Dave could be here whenever Zach is showing up at my door. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, uh, Zach showed up with his girlfriend and picked up the girls every other weekend for three months and it was it was really good he would take them out to eat um he would take them skating or take them to the zoo or they would come back so happy mommy 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 you won't believe what we did and they were really having a blast and by this time their ages are five and three so they're five and three and they're really having a good time. And I do want to say in this webisode, I want to talk about how also whenever Dave and I moved into that home, it was a neighborhood and, um, you know, I was raised with my mother where, uh, you know, we got to be quiet. We got to be quiet because sound hurts her so much. So we got to be quiet all the time. And, and I, I had always been a mom around my mom, too. And even though it doesn't bother me to hear kids laugh and play, it bothers my mom. So I try to keep them quiet. Shh, shh, shh. Constantly trying to keep them quiet. And um, I have, I just have a schedule that I would always follow with my girls. And there was outside playtime. And then there was, um, every morning we would walk our dog. We would walk our dog around the neighborhood. And every afternoon we would walk our dog around the neighborhood. And, um... Yeah, I always was like, shh, 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 to the girls, tell them to quiet down, quiet down, you know, and, and, um, one day I was walking my dog with the girls, you know, I always had the girls with me, and, uh, this old lady who lived like three houses down from my house, and she had just the most beautiful yard full of flowers and you know these modern day yards where they're like you don't have to have a lawn you can have like this beautiful flower garden like that's the type of yard that she had and it was just it was so gorgeous and she was sitting out on her porch and she said come here come here young lady <laughs> and I was oh I was so nervous I was like oh my gosh what does this lady want with me and I walk up to her and she was like I just want you to know 
Now, I hear you outside playing with your kids every single day. And I want you to know that you can quit telling them girls to shh. That it is perfectly fine for them to laugh and play. That it actually warms my heart to hear them laugh and play. I'm tearing up now. I thought that I could get through. I thought that I would get through this without even tearing up. But you guys, I hugged her. It made me feel so good to hear that from someone. That it's okay for my kids to laugh and play because I was so uptight and I hated to be that way with them. I hated it. So it was really cool. It was really awesome how she said that we could, I could just let them laugh and play. And I did. I, I began to feel more at home, guys. I started to feel more at home and I was like getting my dream job. Working at Tesla Corp, just helping people. And I, I really felt like I was at home and like the, the, the school that my kids were going to go to. That I was getting ready and preparing to send my kindergartner to. And she had been to this wonderful head start. And the school was just right down the road. We could just watch it. It was literally two blocks away. Just things were really looking up, y'all. You know, life can be really, really bad, but it can get really good, too. It, it just, it felt like it can only get better from here. Like, how could it get worse? It can only get better from here. And, um, so, yeah, Zach was picking up the girls every other weekend. He had his girlfriend with her, with him. And, um, yeah, um... You know, they they like to make fun of me and stuff. They acted like, you know, I'm single because Dave wasn't around, but I'm not single. Dave's just not around right now, but um I just I just ignored them for the most part. I was happy that they found each other, that they had each other. I was actually happier letting my kids go with Zach knowing that he had his girl. It, it made me feel better about sending my kids with him. I mean, you guys, there are so many times that Dave had tried to set up a babysitter so that me and him could go out and have time. And I'm just like, not just anybody is going to watch my kids. Dave, like, I barely let my mom watch my kids. Like, not just anybody is going to watch my kids. And my mom can only watch them. Once or twice a year, you know, other than that, she can, she's beyond her limit of what she can handle. And I'm not going to let just anybody watch my kids. If just anybody was allowed to watch me and it just wasn't a good situation. It just wasn't. So I would not just let my kids go with anybody. And that included Zach, I guess. Um, I didn't, I, I don't know. I didn't want to be a parental alienator. I didn't want to alienate him. I just wanted my kids to be safe. Does that make sense? I don't know, guys. But, so, he had three months of picking them up every other weekend while I had three months of working at Tessa Corp. And I just loved the job. And the lady loved me too. And it was a perfect fit. And I told her that my kids had to go and stay a month in another state with their father. And this is the first time that they will ever be doing that. So I want to go with them. I want to, I have family, I have friends in this state that I can stay with. I want to be there just in case anything happens. And, and then after that, I will come back. The month was April. I remember that. After the month, I will come back and I can work full time and we can do this if, if you want. If, if you're willing to let me do that, take April off. And she was just like, yes, great idea. Come back in May and we are going to hit the ground running. I can't wait. You know, take care of your babies. Do what you got to do. This is going to be a good thing. And so, yeah, I packed up the girls and headed to... Zach's state, nervous as I'll get out to let him have the girls that long. I still felt they were too young. 
I felt like, you know, I did everything right. I had the paperwork and everything, the court paperwork. So I was going to do what the courts told me to do. I didn't think anything bad would happen, really. I had the girls call Zach on the way so that they're calling him and talking to him. I'd, I'd had the girls. I would constantly have them call him during this three months. I really, I wanted to use it for what I told the lawyers I wanted to use it for. For them to get to know him so that they are really familiar whenever they go stay at his home with him. So, here we go. And thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for being here for another webisode of my story. I'm so grateful that you guys are here and that you're watching. I hope that you're enjoying it. And um, if there's anything you want to know, I guess, <laughs> write it in the comments and I'll let you know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. And as always, be blessed with love. That's all she got. <laughs>